Hello everyone, and welcome to another video tutorial for Lightarama S5. In today's video, we'll be talking about basic AC channel commands in the Lightarama sequencer. The first question to answer is, what is an AC channel? In simple terms, an AC channel controls a standard string of incandescent or LED lights, like something you'd buy from any big retail store. The entire strand of lights is a predetermined color, and you cannot control individual lights like you can on a strand of pixels. You can control nearly anything you can plug into a standard outlet with an AC channel, including single color floodlights or strobes. The controllers for AC channels typically have 16 plugs with ends that resemble outlets. In the sequencer, AC channel rows will be a shade of gray, whereas RGB prop rows are black. You can use AC channel commands on RGB rows, but all effects placed will turn the pixels cool white. The second row of buttons in the sequencer is what lets you place effects. The first section to pay attention to is type. If you are sequencing AC channels, the type should be set to the first option, channel. The next section to pay attention to is the effect area. 95% of the time, you will leave this as on when sequencing so that the effects you place are solid. If you'd like to create a shimmer, twinkle, or DMX effect at any time, simply select the respective option. The third decision to make is if you want to sequence using the click to create method or if you prefer keyboard shortcuts. To place an effect in a cell when you click, you'll want to use the Create option. For keyboard shortcuts, you'll choose Select. The Range and Slope sections are where you will spend most of your time changing between options. Range refers to the maximum and minimum brightness values of an effect, which is directly related to the options and slope. You can manually change these numbers, or you can use presets. You can create your own presets by clicking on Manage Intensity Presets. To delete a preset, simply click on Manage Intensity Effects, click on the entire row, and press Delete on your keyboard. Once you've selected your range, you move to the slope commands, which is how you actually place effects. The max command will place an effect at the maximum value in the range. So in this example, it means the lights would turn on at 100%. If we select minimum, it means the lights will turn on at the minimum value, or in this case, 25%. The up and down ramps will create an effect that ramps between the two values. This is also referred to as a fade command. So if we use the up ramp, it'll create a ramp between 25 and 100%. Using the down ramp, we'll go between 100 and 25. The drag fade command is an intelligent button, which means depending on which direction you're dragging your mouse, that's the way the fade will go. If you'd like to use keyboard shortcuts, instead of always having to change your selection and slope, switch to the select action instead of create. You can then replace the options for max, min, up, and down with keyboard shortcuts. A for maximum, I for minimum, U for ramp up, and D for ramp down. If you have Shimmer, Twinkle, or DMX selected over in your effects selection area, any effects you place using the create action or keyboard shortcuts will appear as the respective effect type. For example, instead of a solid ramp down, we could create that effect as a shimmer. Sometimes you may want to modify your existing effects. For example, if we place a few down ramp effects in our sequence and decided later that we wanted them all to be changed to shimmer, we'd highlight the entire area and either click Shift M on our keyboard or right click, choose Prompt for New Effect and Modify Existing Effects. Here we can switch between the four AC effects, so I can change all of these on effects to shimmer. Don't forget that if you ever make a mistake, you can press Ctrl Z to undo your last effect. And that's all for this tutorial. Be sure to like and subscribe so that you never miss a notification about new videos.